We found this online, this is what MGM have posted, basically confirming what I suspected, that they've had a cyber security issue. In other words, they've been hacked. Obviously, as you can see, blue screens, as far as the eyes can see. Let's start to Vegas so that the escalator in Excalibur doesn't work. After all the years, has finally paid out. On the raspberry lemon drops. Cheers. All right, good morning and welcome to the vlog. Welcome to day three. Um, before we get started, typically I would do a normal intro and run through the day, but obviously yesterday we believe MGM got hacked, there were some issues showing down in the casino and with the systems. So before we do anything today, I'm going to head downstairs to the MGM rewards desk and try and find out what on earth is going on, and then I'll pick it up once we get on the casino floor. Alright, take two. So I just sat here at the machine talking for 10 minutes and realised that I hadn't pressed bloody record. So you may be able to see on the right hand side of the screen, MGM Rewards system is offline. I asked them yesterday what the situation was and they told me it was being fixed and it would be sorted by this morning. This morning I went to the desk and asked the lady and she said it has got worse. Um, there are a lot of rumors flying around that MGM has been hacked. Don't know whether that's true or not. Um, but the systems are offline. The lady said they cannot even access their computer system. So you're not being tracked, you're not getting tier credits, you're not getting reward credits. Um, she can't even see if our resort credit has been added. Um, so we were obviously going to Primrose. We're now not sure because we don't want to go to a restaurant in MGM for the sake of going, which we wouldn't normally go to if it wasn't for the resort credit. If we haven't got the resort credit, we'll go somewhere else for breakfast. Um, so we're just contemplating what to do. We're going to head to reception, ask a couple more questions about the resort credit, uh, for the dining credit, sorry, and then we'll make a decision whether to go to Primrose and whether to stay on the strip or maybe go to downtown because we don't have any of the cards in downtown. There's no MGM properties in downtown. So um, we were heading there on Thursday or Wednesday. We'll just bring it forward two days and do it today. But I'll update you once we uh, decide how we're gonna proceed. Quick update, we went back to the hotel and spoke to the hotel manager. Um, they have confirmed that you cannot do any room charges back to the rooms at the moment. The system is completely down. Um, I obviously inquired and said, well, well, we've got $200. Like, how do we, is it still there? Is it still active? What do we do? And he said, "Keep go to your restaurant as normal, pay on your own credit card, keep your receipt. And then if you've got resort credit, you can file a reimbursement claim and they'll reimburse you for um, anything that you've spent. Um, so yeah, not ideal, um, but hopefully, I think what we'll do is we'll probably stick with the um, Primrose, even though we can't get the two for one. Um, that's not a major issue. And uh, we'll just keep the receipts uh, and hopefully they fix it today or tomorrow before we check out and then they can just uh, amend it or do the reimbursement immediately. All right, so we went to um Primrose and asked them uh, about charging it back and she basically said yes there's a problem with the system we don't know if they're going through so I said well what does that mean she went I, I don't know so yeah not much use from the staff at Primrose and uh, we found this online this is what MGM have posted basically confirming what I suspected that they've had a cyber security issue in other words they've been hacked um, and so to protect the systems they shut everything down so, um, yeah, we're in a little bit of limbo. I mean, we're walking around the casino. The casinos are absolutely dead. Nobody's gambling, understandably. Um, I've got a feeling there's probably a lot of people in the restaurants trying to charge stuff back, not realizing that it's not going through. Um, yeah. If it's not going through, it's free. Well, if it's not, well, if it's not going through, it's free. Well, yeah. So, Who, well, if it's not going through, they'll just ask for credit card payments. But anyway, um, yeah, a bit of a shit show. So we're just kind of deciding what to do now and where to go. All right, so the plan for today now is we're gonna grab the car. Um, we're gonna nip over and pick up the Las Vegas advisor um, offers and coupon book that we've got, um, which I'll run you through a little bit later once we've picked it up. Then we're gonna head back, park up the car, 
Um, we're gonna go into Primrose anyway. Um, we'll do a credit card payment if need be, if we can't charge it back to the room. Um, and then we're gonna go back to the car. There's no point in staying in MGM and gambling here. Uh, I don't wanna put a huge amount through Caesars just for the sake of it. So um, as part of the Las Vegas advisor, there is um, sign-ups and offers for quite a few of the off-strip casinos. We don't wanna go to downtown today because we've got it booked for Wednesday and planned. So we're gonna keep that as Wednesday. Um, and we're gonna hit the likes of the Virgin Casino, South Point, um, we might visit Big Bass Pro Shops. Is that which casino is that? Silverton. Silverton. So we'll do South Point, Silverton, a few of the off-strip casinos, sign up for the uh, new accounts, get the free play, and then we'll head back to the strip later on this afternoon, and fingers crossed, hopefully they've resolved the issue. All right, so we just nipped to the Las Vegas Advisor, uh, picked up our coupon book. It's uh, was it 50 or $60, gives you loads of different coupons. Um, if you're going to downtown or if you've got a car and you can get off strip, it's pretty good because, I mean, you're going to get $100 in free play um, and initial member signups by using this in addition to anything, obviously, that the casino gives as a new member. Um, and then you've got things like two-for-ones on... Um, Champagne, Ellis Island, um, and all sorts of different offers. So obviously being here for 10 days, it's worth it. We calculated we'll probably save a couple of hundred dollars. Um, it's only five minutes off strip. It's very close to the Rio and Palms, um, so very easy to get to. But we're gonna head back now to um, the hotel and um, grab some breakfast. All right, so we're just heading over to Primrose. We just ducked uh, $100 in the machine just to do uh, $10, $15 with the spins. And uh, all morning we've been hearing hand pay, uh, the, the sound of the hand pay going off. And we were like, Jesus Christ, everyone, people getting hand pays left, right and center. So it turns out because the system is down, you can't use the Tito's, it won't accept them. So I put $100 cash in to, to do like $15 worth of spins and then cashed out. When I cashed out, it basically locked the system and called the, her, the uh, attendant for a hand pay and they are having to hand pay everybody, no matter whether it's $5, $10, or in our case, 80, 80 odd dollars. Um, so it's gonna be a long, stressful day for the staff on the uh, floor. Although to be fair, there's not that many people gambling because it's um, it's obviously a, it's wasted. So we're gonna grab some food and then head out on the strip. Right, just finished in Primrose, uh, just walking through the casino now. Um, review of Primrose, it was okay, I give it a 6 out of 10. Um, we had an egg and ham sandwich and a, like a breakfast pizza flatbread thing. The egg sandwich was nice, the potatoes with it were crap. Uh, the pizza flatbread thing was average, 5 out of 10. Um, obviously couldn't charge it to the room, they took credit card payment. One thing I found slightly strange and I wasn't happy with was that um, I noticed we heard the bar lady tell the staff to take pictures of everyone's credit cards for their tips. Um, not sure how I feel about someone taking a picture of my credit card and having all my details basically on their phone. Um, so I couldn't see if she did. I, I had a feeling she did take a picture of it and I am gonna query it with, um, with reception um, later and just say, is this normal policy? like? For me, I just find it strange, you know, you've been hacked and then you're taking pictures of people's credit cards. Um, so anyway, yeah, av average breakfast, in my opinion. Uh, don't see what everyone raves about for that place. 
Anyway, we're going to head down to Oyo now and use the first free play from the Las Vegas Advisor. So we'll pick it up when we get to Oyo. All right, so we're just walking through New York, New York. Um, the casino at Park MGM, uh, obviously quite understandably, is absolutely empty. I think we saw two people sat down playing on the machines across the whole casino. 50% um, of the machines are closed down. Obviously, they're saying call hand pay, call attendant, because someone's cashed out. So yeah, interested to see what it's like in New York, New York, and if it's as quiet as Park M Gym. So um, yeah, we'll pick it up on the casino floor. So uh, yeah, it's busier in New York, New York, but obviously as you can see, it is still very, very quiet. Very few people gambling. So we're gonna head down to a non-MGM hotel uh, never been to Oyo before. Um, I believe it's a bit of a shithole, <laughs> to put it politely. Um, hey, look, it's, it's not a shithole. I shouldn't say that. It's uh, look, it's cost effective. It's um, it's, you know, it's an affordable hotel and casino. Never been there. Never seen it. Um, so we'll check it out. I think we get twenty dollars free slot play. I'm Las Vegas advisor, there may be also a signing up bonus, we'll see when we get there. Uh, it's very quiet around here, even the streets seem quiet today. Um, obviously it is a Monday, so we know a lot of people have left after the weekend. Um, yeah, i got to say, this uh, this issue with MGM's really put a kind of spanner in the works, because we're the type of people who like to plan absolutely everything. Um, and so every single day we've got a strict itinerary, what we do in the morning, what we're doing for lunch, for dinner, where we're gambling, what we're doing. And obviously the focus for the first two days was to hit the MGM casinos to get the next tier level, which is not possible. I mean, it's 12 o'clock now and uh, we haven't gambled. I mean, we've never been in Vegas and, you know, normally by seven, eight o'clock we're on the machines and a couple of hundred dollars in. So to be at lunchtime midday and have not gambled a single thing, um, well, I suppose it's saving us money, but uh, it's not what we came here to do. So we're just crossing the bridge now over to Oyo, and I'll pick it up once we get there on the floor. Right, we're going to have a quick look in Tropicana, cut through. Never been in Tropicana. I was very impressed with the uh, Tropicana in Atlantic City. It's far better, I believe, than the one in Vegas. So I'm interested to see what this is like. It smells like 1950s Las Vegas. Well, not that I know what that smells like. I wasn't born until the 80s, but um, this is what I imagine Las Vegas smelled like in the 50s. Basically, stale smoke, sweat, alcohol, vomit, and a few other things mixed in together to make a lovely little cocktail. The temperature today is absolutely glorious. Um, probably guessing it's in the high 20s. I think the, the weather forecast or the weather front that came in yesterday in the cloud has just kind of cleared out the air. It's not as stuffy as it was earlier. Alright, we made it to Oyo. $5.99 all you can eat pancakes. I mean, how many pancakes can one person eat? Like, we only manage probably two maximum each. So we're gonna nip into Oyo X Hooters Casino and see what we can get with this $20. Probably fuck all. Alright, we made it into Oyo Casino. Just gonna get signed up, get uh, registered, and get the free play and jump on the machine. Seventy-one yards. You get three dollars. Right. So we got our five dollars free play, match play, and if we spend ten dollars, we can use the voucher and get another ten dollars free play. Um, we also did the feed, field goal system and got $3 off food, beverage, or retail cop. So that'll get us a beer in a minute. Um, we'll put a few, we'll put, we'll put 10, $15 through the machine and uh, see what we can get. All right, so the $5 is active, I hope. Let's see. No, it's not activated. Okay. All right, we figured it out. We're live. All right, let's go. Let's try and get something early doors. Just doing 88 cent, one cent denomination. Ah, oh, we'll come back if we get something decent. 
Looking for three of the free game symbols. All right, so we spun down the $5 free play and our own $10, and then we used the voucher and got another $10 free play. So we're back on the same scene. Let's see if we can hit something. It's like volume on full. It's very quiet. Oh, let's whack it up. All right, wilds, that's all right. All right, come back if we get something. Obviously looking for six of the golden orbs. All right, no joy at Oyo Casino, but uh, when they gave us that $3 voucher, I was like, well, that's not gonna do much, is it? Um, but then I forgot what it's like off strip. So Michelob Ultra, $2 each. $3 off voucher means we only paid a dollar for two beers. Happy days. So we're just cutting back through Trop and we're gonna head into MGM and make our way down to Ellis Island. All right, we made it into MGM and uh, as you can see in front, what well, I'll show you. I don't know, you know what, this is, it's, um, it's giving vibes. We watched, uh, obviously, Bridges uh, series and it's kind of giving COVID vibes, isn't it? When everyone got stuck here in lockdown and all the machines got turned off. Obviously, as you can see, blue screens as far as the eyes can see. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna keep cutting through down the strip towards Ellis Island, and hopefully we can find a, a working casino. On the next stop of the empty casino whistle stop tour is Park MGM. Going from one empty casino to another. All right, so a little bit of an update. We walked into Park MGM and noticed that the majority of the machines seem to be working. Uh, we double checked with one of the hand pay assistants and he said 80% are working. Um, the app and website, I believe, is still down, but it is now tracking and you can see on here, slot dollars and free play is showing. So I've got $125 free play. We're gonna do some bigger bets on uh, a wild to go. 9.59 major. Looking for six of the orbs, two more. Chuko is wild. Right, we'll come back if we get a hit. All right, we got the bonus feature on the 10 cent, $2.50. We'd only spawn uh, $25, so that's not bad. Let's see if we can drop a mini is 100, minor is 500, major is 959, and a grand is 11,400. I will happily take a mini or two. Two spins left, not had anything yet. Do not do the dirty on me. Last spin, come on, save the day, save the day. Thank God for that. Back to three spins. Come on. Drop a mini. Drop some bigger numbers. Come on. Mini or minor. Back to three spins, three to go. Okay, three spins with one remaining. Grand is 11,400. Imagine if you got a grand and they said, oh, malfunction, system error. <laughs> After all this shit this morning, it wouldn't surprise me. All right, here we go, last spin for $11,400. Not to me this time. One day it will happen. All right, not a bad bonus to start off. $25 in the machine. Coming away with $52.50. We'll do a couple of backup spins. And we'll come back if we get something else. All right, so um, pulled out 60, spent $65 on free play and pulled out $65 in cash, so that's all right, a one to one ratio. So we're now on Huff and More Puff, we're gonna give this another go. We've both put $100 in each, so we've got $200 to play with, uh, and we'll do 150 bet. So we're looking for three buzz saws or six yellow hats. Come on, one more. Would have been nice to get an early bonus on Hop and Puff. So volatile. All right, we'll come back if we get something. 
we put $50 through Huff and Puff with absolutely nothing. So we've moved on to Aztec Runner. Uh, let's do two cent Dinom. 60 credits, that's a $1.20 bet. All right, we're looking for three of these for the feature. Or six of this gremlin thing, whatever it is. And obviously the uh, jewels are wild. All right, we'll come back if we get something. So we hit the bonus on our very last spin. We said we'd cash out at 125, so we just made it. All right, so we have doubled up here. All right, I'll try and get everything in. Five idle spins remaining. I'm guessing that they, you need to land them when they join and connect together. And obviously the larger the uh, statue, the better the pay. Four spins left. We need something in the middle on both. All right. It does not reset, so you only have five spins, so there's two left regardless. Need something in this middle one here. If we land something here or here, it'll be a decent pay, hopefully. This is our last spin. That was it. Let's see what we got. Not expecting much. There's your bet back. Mini is $20, minor is $100. All right. Not bad, not great. $16.20. Right, so, uh, excuse me, I'm just getting in the lift. Right, we are just heading back down to the casino and park MGM. Um, haven't filmed the last hour or so because I got a notification that the storage on the iPhone was full, so I've had to go back to the room and move some photos around, delete some videos, um, all that malarkey. Uh, Emily's down on the floor at the moment, so we're going to go and be here now. Okay, so sorry, I had to stop there and someone was getting in the lift. Um, so yeah, Emily is, uh, Emily's been down on the casino floor while I've been sorting out all the photos and videos. So we're going to meet up with her and see how she's been doing. And then we're going to make our way over to New York, New York. Uh, spend a couple of hours in there doing a little bit of gambling. And then we'll probably head back to Park MGM. I think we're probably going to go to Best Friends tonight. Um, we're booked in there on Sunday. But we're going to swap because we've got an abundance of uh, resort credit. And it's got to be used today or tomorrow before checkout. Um, there's no point in going to Galpo, Gaucho, grill tonight and spending two three hundred dollars on dinner when I've got 150 dollars dining credit left so fingers crossed we can get in um, I did try and book something online and it said it was fully booked but um, once they open at five o'clock we'll go over and uh, see what the situation is to see if we can get a table but uh, I'm on the hunt for my wife somewhere oh shot horror she's on Game of Thrones I could have put money Emily I'm just saying, the safest bet in the whole of the casino was that I'd come down and find you on Game of Thrones. And there she is. All right, so we are on our way to New York, New York. Uh, nipped by the MGM Rewards desk again, just to get an update. Because we're still unable to check our tier credits. And obviously we are pushing for Pearl. But we don't want to, once we hit Pearl, we obviously want to move on to Cosmo probably and start increasing our bets there so that when they switch over they combine the two so you basically get double points um, but the tier tracking system is still down uh, the only two things that are still down are the tier point tracking and the my vegas rewards everything else is working back as normal now so we're going to drop hundred dollars in new york new york and i'll get back once we're on again can't say I've ever been a massive fan of New York, New York, but I do enjoy just walking around the streets and looking at the bars and the restaurants. Um, the setting and the way it's done is is really good. He doesn't like the toilets in here. I didn't like no. Well, last time we came in here it was Super Bowl, and it was on the Tuesday of the night of the Super Bowl. And no joke, you needed fucking 
fish, fishing waders to wade through the piss on the on the floor on the men's toilets. It was absolutely disgusting. Thousands and thousands of drunk men with zero aim does not make a nice experience in the toilets in New York, New York. I can guarantee you that. I have a guess who made the decision to play this game, and it wasn't me. I love the Hobbit. She loves Hobbit, Game of Thrones, basically all the stupid themed games that oh, don't actually like pay you anything. <laughs> oh god, if it was Harry Potter, she'd never get off it. Fear the Walking Dead, Hobbit, hey, Game of Thrones, Thrones. she loves it all. So um, she got a bit trigger happy and already pushed the button before I could uh, introduce. So we're doing one cent denomination, 75 credits. Let's see if we can get something. I get an early bonus. Wilds across. What's his name? Oh, that's Frodo, is it? I know him. Got a few friends. Got a few friends that look like him. My precious. All right. After that terrible impression, we'll come back and we get something. We lost some money on the Hobbit. I chose the machine, and we won twenty, thirty dollars back uh, on what we were. I didn't film any of it though. So I will film this now. We are on Peacock Beauty Gold, one cent denomination. We're doing one dollar bet. Let's go. So it's a bit of a reflection. Let me turn up the volume. Crank it up. Right, we're looking for six of those numbers. Two more. Go. Come on, three more. All right, we'll come back and we get something. Anyhow, we got a little, uh, that's the noise she makes, by the way. Uh, nice little line hit, $15. Apart from that, not much happening. Still looking for the bonus or to set the pot off. Oh, we need one on the front row. Come on, three of them, three, one more. No, all right. We'll come back and we get something. Oh, we got some peacock action. Into the bonus. $17 down. Oh. 10 spins yeah. or 25? 10. 10. Oh, it's down the middle. All right. See if we get the bonus in a bonus. Looking for six of the numbers. Zoom, you can re trigger with three gold coins as well. All right, so far, four out of 10 spins and nothing. Ooh, wow. What was that? A dollar. Please trigger, please. F for that. One, no, three. I don't know what that is. Plus three spins. Do we get three spins at the end, or? Yeah, I think so. All right, no idea what's happening. Set the pot off, because this is the strike bonus. Five dollars seventy. All right, six dollar forty-eight hit there. Not too bad. See if we can recover our seventeen dollars. We trigger? No. All right. So we get it again. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go this one. Just to fill in the time. We're gonna get whatever the computer decided we were gonna get anyway. So we get over twenty dollars and we go back up over our hundred. Then I'll be quite happy. Nice to get the bonus and the bonus. All right, two more, two more. Nope. Come on. All right, that is spin eight of 25. Peacock is wild. Come on, you bastard peacock. Stop cocking around. Oh, I can do pallet jokes all night long. Oh, $16. I thought we'd easily hit the $17 mark, but maybe not. Oh, there we go. Finally made it up over $100. Nine spins left. Eight spins. Trigger? No. Uh, not looking very good to get over $20. Let's 
set the pod off, I think. Four spins left. Retrigger? No. Nope. I don't want another retrigger, it's shit. <laughs> 1826, three spins left. Two spins. Now, oh, you bastard. Two, three. 1826, after all that. Now, 35 free spins, right? You're not even 50 cents a spin. All right. Go on then. Right, bashed it with authority. Yeah, that's better than the bloody bonus. All right. We're going to move machines. My favourite goal pays. Uh, it has served me well in the past, so fingers crossed it does again. Today, Mini is 22.51, which is pretty high for this game, and the Miner's 52. Emily's just checking the other machines to make sure none of them are higher. 23.22. Uh, that's fine. 50 cents ain't going to make any fucking difference. All right, let's whack up the volume. Uh, what better are we doing here? That's it. We need to want, we're not doing 68, we want 60. So $1.36 bet. All right. So we're looking for three of these, and the fireworks going to randomly set off the bonus. And they also act as a wild. Three, come on. All right, we'll come back if we get something. All right, this is a very, very loud machine. I hope you can hear me clearly. Uh, oh, I could just turn the volume down. It's probably easier, isn't it? All right, so we hit the free spins. Let's see, come on. Something decent, please. Put us back up over 100. Nothing there. Eight free games. They're wild, nice. Second top symbol. All right, that's eight dollars. No, that would be more, 11. Yeah, about twelve dollars. Just gonna leave it, gonna let it play out, do its natural thing. Which is a killer for someone as impatient as me who just wants to bash the button. But I'm definitely not a button basher. All this malarkey. Waste of time. All right, now I'm really want to push it now. Oh, it doesn't line up. What a waste. And again. Come on, line them up. Four games remaining. It's alright. Yeah, they do, yeah. About another $20. Very hard to get a drink in New York, New York. It's quick as a fly to buddy in New York and buy one there and come back. I swear they sent half the staff home when the uh, systems weren't working because no, there's nobody all, around. Park MGM, the service was really good. Yeah, Park MGM because they all came back on. All the staff came back on when we uh, when the systems came back on. But oh, I can't wait any longer. Thirty-three fifty-two. All the way. Oh, it doesn't line up. Doesn't line up. One last game. Come on, something big. Her all the way. Her all the way. Ah. Oh. All right, 33.52. Not bad. Keeps us going. Back up to 111. All right, so we are finished in New York, New York. We came in with 100. We're leaving with 80, so not too bad. Uh, we are going to now head up to the Dirty Castle also known as Excalibur, for those not in the know. Dirty Bird loves the Dirty Castle. Don't you? You just said you love the Dirty Castle. I like the gambler, I like the game. Dirty... I wouldn't say that. Dirty Bird. really don't know why they did, when they redid that, they didn't fill it with water and make something of it. I mean, it's better than it was before empty, but they could have done so much more with it. Best odds in Vegas are that the escalator in Excalibur doesn't work. Yeah, 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 literally, you've got more chance of a hand pail winning the grand jackpot than get that escalator working. Nothing beats that musky smell of Excalibur as you walk through. Oh, yeah. You know what? Well, I take the piss out of uh, Excalibur, but I actually really think the tip theming is quite cool. Um, and we've always had fun, and we've always done really well in the casino here. 
for me, it's the loosest casino on the strip. And the other big thing for us is Dairy Queen. Which means, all right, we're going straight into a Dairy Queen. Mint chocolate chip blizzard. Coming to the US for 30 odd years, close to 40 now. And every time we come, we have to get a DQ. Blizzard, mint chocolate chip, every single time. Best ice cream there is. Prices have certainly gone up. I don't know if it's just in Vegas, but it's now $11 for a small DQ Blizzard. I swear it used to be like $4. We jumped on Dragon Spin Age of Fire. Uh, Mini's $28, which grabbed our attention. So we're doing one cent denomination, $1.20 bet. We've only got $60 left, so we need something nice. All right, not a bad start. How much is that? Oh, is that it? Three dollars for that. Sorry, the cocktail waitress came. So yeah, okay, three dollars, not not great. Keep playing. I'm guessing we're looking for three. Oh, we need the blue on two, three, and four for the dragon wheel. All right, I'll come back if we get something. Screens like that really piss me off. Can't land a bloody thing. So we need them on reels two, three, and four for the bonus. Oh, you little rat bag. All right, we got something. Oh, what? Is that it? Made this big song and dance like it was gonna give us the bonus and it's paid us $4. Piece of shit. All right, so Excalibur let us down. We are close to here, Emily. Uh, $150 down in Excalibur, so we're going back to New York, New York. All right, uh, making our way back to New York, New York, enjoying the beautiful aroma of marijuana. You've got to love the outside theming of New York, New York. It's absolutely brilliant. There really is nothing like it. Another sixty dollars down in New York, New York. Uh, so far, that puts us up pretty much four hundred dollars down for the day. Haven't really won anything. No bonuses. No line hits. Right, so we're gonna head to uh, Best Friends and check if they can fit us in at seven o'clock today instead of on Sunday. Uh, we've still got obviously like one hundred and twenty dollars in food and beverage credit to use up before tomorrow. So um, hopefully we can get in there today. Didn't really fancy Asian again after we had Asian last night, but it is what it is. Hopefully we can get in tonight. And then we'll probably, uh, I think after this, we'll probably head back up to the room, grab a shower, get refreshed, have a little rest, and then head back out for this evening's gambling. Hopefully this evening's gambling will be a lot better than uh, this morning and this afternoon's. All right, so we managed to get the uh, reservation at Best Friends move from Sunday at 7 p.m. to tonight, 7 p.m. So we're just heading back to the room now. It is quarter past five. Uh, all $400 of this morning and this afternoon's budget is gone. So we're taking out $400 for this evening as well. Um, head back up to the room, get refreshed, get changed, and then uh, we'll see you back on the casino floor this evening. All right, so we are all changed, refreshed, showered, ready to go. Um, we're gonna head down now to the Park MGM Casino. It's uh, just gone six o'clock, so we've got about 45 minutes or so until dinner at Best Friend. Um, Emily's got about $200 left. I've got about $220 left, and I've also got $65 in free play, which we're gonna spin. So the plan is to do a little bit in Park MGM now. Um, have some dinner, a little bit more in Park MGM. You get to Bellagio, aren't we? Yeah, and then we'll head to yeah, then we'll head to Bellagio afterwards, and then we'll probably finish the night in Cosmo um, before coming back to Park MGM. So I'll pick it up on the casino. All right, here's to a better evening gambling session because this afternoon and this morning's gambling was absolute. Garbage. All right, we jumped on Rich Little Peas. Uh, we're gonna do one cent denom and 
let's do 75 because that's what it's currently on. Piggies are nice and fat. 100 wilds on the red, 12 free games on the blue. Alright, we'll come back if we get something. Alright, so two or three spins in and we hit the free game bonus. There we go. One spin remaining. Wow. What a pile of shy. Four dollars seventy. Alright, so we've hit the jackpot free bonus. A couple of few spins later. Whack it, Emily. Alright, mini is two fifty, minor is eight fifty, maxi seven fifty, major forty dollars. Oh my word. Two games left. We're not even gonna win a mini, are we? Surely. Alright, we won the minor, eight dollars fifty. One spin left. So I only hope for a mini. Well, we could land two maxis, I suppose. What a bloody thing. No, we won nothing. All right, $10 bonus. All right, nice little uh, line hit there. Didn't actually see it because I was talking to the uh, cocktail waitress. But it's a $21.70 line hit. Keeps us going. Right, and we're back on the free games. So free games this time. Are we going to make two dollars? No. One dollar twenty-one bonus. Is that serious? I mean, what's the point of even giving a bonus and paying one dollar twenty-one? Right, well, the bonuses are paying, but the line hits certainly are. Wilds all across. See what she wrote. $22.50. All right, we finally set off the 100 wilds in seven free games. Let's go. So we only had one spin left. We were gonna cash out with 200 and go for dinner. So fingers crossed we get a decent hit here and then we'll head over to Best Friends. Wilds all across. It's doing its funny business again. Come on. Full screen of wilds, please. Come on, wilds, wilds, cross. Not lining anything up at the minute. Alright, that's decent. $18.75. Few more hits like that, please. One more, all the way. Oh, nearly. All right, last game. Can we get over $50? Here we go. Full screen, wilds all the way. No. No wilds on the last game. All right, 24.61. Not bad. Yeah. All right, so we cashed out with 225, and we're just gonna head now to Best Friend for dinner. was meant to spin one dollar and accidentally hit ten dollar spin and got the feature and she's now got a 5x whatever she lands so we're filming this fingers crossed let's go for a hand pay 5x whatever it is even a hundred's good it's 500 Five hundred dollars off a complete and utter fluke spin. That's a nice award. Wow! And that wasn't joint gambling. That was just her sneaking off on her own. All right. Oh well. Dinner on Emily tonight.
poor you. We've had to come back to the room so that Emily can drop off her winnings. Um, in case it wasn't clear from the video, she went to do a $1 spin. She accidentally hit the $10 spin button and got the spin bonus. She then got a 5x multiplier and she then hit the $100 spin on the wheel. So she walked away with $500 off an accidental spin. So um, we're just back in the room, she's dropping the money off. We just finished with um, Roy Choi's best friend. Really, really nice food. Um, we had the banchan sampler, sampler, which was like spinach, uh, onions, bean sprouts, kimchi, um, Asian cucumbers, all these different vegetables, like pickled and cured, really, really nice. Um, and then we had, what else did we have? We had this amazing uh, street corn dish, the barbecue sampler, which was jidori chicken, uh, spicy pork and um, Colby beef ribs. And then what was the other dish we had? Ribs. Ah, yes, and then we had the hoisin chili sticky ribs, which were absolutely amazing. We thought the ribs yesterday were good. These were very, very different, but these were just as good. Um, hoisin, chili, soy sauce, glaze, really sweet, sticky, spicy, absolutely amazing. Um, and we had a couple of um, cocktails as well, margarita uh, and a pina colada. So yeah, $200, um, but obviously 160 of it is going on resort credit. So it's only cost us $40, which is a bargain. Uh, really, really enjoyable food, really nice restaurant, nice ambiance, very quite loud. Um, but yeah, she's now ready. She's put all the money away in the safe and we're gonna head out. So we're gonna head out to Bellagio. We're not gonna gamble anymore. We've got a $200 Tito to cash out. Then we're gonna head to Bellagio, do a couple of hundred dollars there and then onto Cosmo and use up our free play and whatever we've got left. So I'll pick the vlog up when we get to the Bellagio. So we made it to Bellagio and they're currently uh, tearing down the summer garden and uh, building what I presume will be the autumn or fall, as you say in America. As you can see, they've got the concept art ready, the autumn fall gardens. So these will be ready next week. Obviously, we will be back on Sunday and we'll be able to access and show you around the new fall garden onto the casino amongst the sea of people that are coming. It's absolutely packed in here tonight, as you can see. So we'll find a machine and we'll pick up the vlog when we found something. All right, we are on Fortune Coin. First game in Bellagio, had a decent mini. Mini is $23, the minor is only 15. So we've put 200 bucks in, get the volume up. I'll do a few spins on 60 cents. So we're looking for the golden coins, like that. Anyone can potentially set off the uh, bonus. Okay, we'll come back if we get something decent. All right, not a bonus, but a nice line hit on a 60 cent bet. That's uh, $21.60 keeps us going. Still looking for that mini, which is nearly double the minor. All right, we'll come back if we get something. All right, so we set off the free games feature with a golden coin and we got 20 free games, let's go. You 
It should all be removed. Mine is gone. There we go. 20 games. See if we can line them up. Oh, there we go. Feature in the feature. All the way across. Go on, all the way across. Alright, three. That's fine. Is that a retrigger? Or a new feature? Jackpot bonus? Ten extra, so that means we've got 30 free games. Alright. And a scatter paint. Now we just need to sort of line them up. Need something to land all the way across, please. The problem with this game is that all the symbols look so similar, it's hard to keep track. Right, 9 of 30. Here we go. Three trigger or coins? Coins. Wow. Awesome. Nice. $10. All right, that's a decent bonus. $14.10. Ah, takes us to 19.30. Still 19 spins remaining. We really like to land the mini at $23.65. Well, no, we're not, we'll probably get the minor. Here we go, anything with words. Where are the ten dollars? Something gold, something with words. No. Nope. Well, that takes us to twenty-two seventy. Not bad. I'm not even halfway through. Still seventeen games remaining. All right, back to back. That's what we like. Mini, minor, anything with words. Another ten dollars. Fantastic. Alright, that's a decent hit. Over $15. $16.30. This is a nice bonus so far on a 60 cent bet. Alright, it takes us to $39. Re trigger? Nope. 14 games remaining. Alright, come on. Don't go quiet. Find something big all the way across. Alright, oh, nice. Coins, mini, mini, minor, mini, no. He does not want to give up this mini. Alright, oh, $42. Eight spins remaining. Here we go. Three trigger. Yep. Ten more games. Alright, this could be a really decent bonus if it carries on at this rate. Ten more games. Alright, that's a nice hit. Not again, surely. There we go, mini, 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 mini. Ten dollars again, nice. That's three times we got that ten dollars. It will not give up the mini though. Fingers crossed, we've still got fifteen games. Plenty of time to land them. And you didn't want to play this game. Can we get another re-trigger? Ten more games? No. Wilds don't match up. Well, it's now a little bit quiet. 
points, points, mini, 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 ten dollars, ten dollars, mini. Come on. All right, keep them coming. Nine spins to go. Alright, six games left. Up over seventy dollars now. Can we make it to one hundred? Four games. Three spins. It's gone quiet now. I think that might be all she wrote. Oh no. Alright, we need coins for a retrigger. Or oh, one big hit. Alright, $73.95 on a 60 cent bet. We'll take that all day long. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. $74 takes us to 65. We'll do some backup spins. And we'll come back again shortly. Alright, so we've taken out the $255 Tito and we put it in Buffalo Triple Power. So we're just gonna do some uh, 80 cent bets. See if we can get something. Looking for three of the gold coins. Any one of them can set off the uh, bonus at any time. Obviously looking for as many buffalo as possible. Alright, we will come back if we get a decent hit or a bonus. Alright, we set off two buckets, the gold and the books. Eight free games. Never played this before, so we're learning as we go. Come on, Buffalo, do us good. I think we have to collect bags, so I don't know what it means. Right, okay. No idea what it means, but four games out of eight, and so far we've hit 80 cents. Typical Buffalo, retrigger. Oh, we need lots of uh, retriggers. Trigger again. That's 18 games. You can give us as many games as you want, but if you ain't gonna pay us, it ain't much bloody use. Right. I don't know what those two mean up there. We'll figure it out. Alright, decent. Five dollars. Ten games left. God, it's slow this one, isn't it? Alright, gold heads, that's alright. We've collected three. One more to change the eagles. Times three, nice. Times three, nice. How much? Thirty-one dollar hit, nice. Yeah. Alright, back in. 37, 60. Seven games left. Alright, all eagles change to buffaloes. Now we need the retriggers, yeah. I think maybe we get four spins and one golden spin. I'm not sure with these numbers. We'll soon find out. All right, another green bag and another retrigger. Could we actually finally have a decent win on Buffalo? Need two more to change the Pumas to Buffalo. All the way across. 
What a shame we missed out on that middle row. One right there would have been lovely. That's all lining up though. Three trigger, lovely. Gold head as well. Nope. Five more games. So that's 15 of 28 now. Nice, wolves all the way across, times two. Alright, multipliers. There's a lot of stacks across, tens. That takes us to sixty dollars. Ten spins remaining. Two more to change the Pumas. Two more gold heads to change Pumas. All right, all the way across. Nine spins left. Come on, do us a good, nice big hit. Just one really juicy $150, $200 line hit would be nice. Alright, another re trigger. And another golf bag. No idea what the bag's doing. But it must be a separate game after this finishes. There must be something else. I'm guessing, I don't know. Alright, that's decent multipliers. Right, one more to remove the boomers. Nine to cross. 67, 10. Nine spins remaining. One more green bag that we have no idea what happens. And another one. That's good. Two gold heads, so all boomers are removed. Oh, we just needed one on the front row. That would have been awesome. Seven spins to go. Oh, nice. Big one. Times three. Times three. Okay, that'll do. Another sixteen, seventeen dollars. Takes us to eighty-five fifty. With six spins left. Another gold head. Four more needed to change all the wolves. Some re triggers now, four games left. I don't know, it turns to wild, so maybe that's all it is. Alright, a couple of those across. I don't know. But I don't mind getting them because they're turning into buffaloes. So in 9160, can we break 100? Oh, what a shame we didn't have one with the second round. Oh, again. Oh, you're joking. That would have been huge with one on the front. Last spin. Are we going to break $100? And is the game over? Multipliers. Yes, yes. Okay, that's big. Times three. Times three. Nice. Times three again. Times three. All right, that'll do. That'll take us over. $62 hit. That's a 150 bonus. And... We don't know if there is still something to follow with these bags. Yeah, there is. Right, here we go. One. Do we... Ah, we do all of them because we got... Right, I see. All right. And then we got two... Oh, wow, okay. Nice. Give us a. So the minor is 100 and the major is 500. And we just hit the minor. $100. Fantastic.
fantastic. Buffalo has finally, <laughs> after all the years, has finally paid out. And we still have one left. Major is 500. Emily's already hit a 500. Can we do another one? 750. Yeah. You know what? $303 on an 80 cent bet on Buffalo is incredible. Take that all day long. Here she is, getting her Instagram in. She missed it after all that, she didn't even get it. Three spins later, three backup spins, and we hit the rising and the books again. Come on, Buffalo, can we do it? Twice in a row. Or is this going to be a $3.20 bonus? All right, rising wheels. So we need bags as well. So eight games. Come on, we need more buffaloes. Tens across. We need to land some green and gold bags as well. That's what we need. We haven't landed one bag yet. Come on, bags, 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 bags. Retrigger, retrigger. Yeah, I think this is going to be a dud as well. Not that we can complain after a three hundred dollar bonus. Coins, retrigger, retrigger. Just one gold bag would be nice. Uh, a little something, stacks. Right, two spins to go. Retrigger, retrigger, nice. Three bags. Five more games. All right, bags, bags, bags. Line them up. Don't think she's going to give us much more. We haven't had any green or gold bags yet. All right, there we go. One gold and the multipliers. And at least it's a gold. Eight dollars. Exactly. One spin. It could be the grand. All right. Last spin remaining. We need coins or bags. Coins or bags or none. All right. Twenty dollars. Uh, which one should we go for? Uh, which one shall we go for? Well, you did say five hundred. You got five hundred. Well, we'd rather dollars than cents. Twenty-five fifty-five. Not bad for a backup spin. We'll do a couple more live. Yeah, we'll go to 5 4. Alright, we'll come back if we get anything else. Alright. She's chancing it and doing a $10 bet again after winning 500. Oh no. Is she going to do another one? Or is she? She's doing another one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, she's a degenerate. Degen Emily. Oh. There you go. A little something. Five dollars. Why just do a. F oh my god. You might as well do a five dollar bet. It came out and went straight back in again. <laughs> Doesn't take much persuasion with our Emily. He went five again. No. All right. All right. We are leaving Bellagio happy for the first time ever, and we've actually left with more money than when we came in, which is I think the first time we've ever done that in Bellagio. We never win. Um, so we couldn't get a drink for fucking want love the money. So 
we are heading to Cosmo to finish off the gambling for the night and hopefully get a drink. All right, we are gonna make our way over to Cosmo now. Two happy campers going into Cosmo, desperate for a drink, hoping the good luck continues. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We've been playing this game for about 45 minutes, didn't really film it. We were maintaining around 130 constantly. Nice. And um, yeah, we've just been literally, we put 125 in, we went up to 140. We've been hovering at 140 for 30 minutes. Tried to get the bonus probably a hundred times. We've come, we've got two bounds and not three, which is what you need for the bonus. Finally, we set it off, re triggered a couple of times. We've got 24 games, we've only played five, and we're already up over $50 in bonus. And it's only a $1.25 bet, so uh, yeah, you want to score good tier points and maintain then BAM is definitely a good game to play. And if you get the bonus, it can be very lucrative, as you can see. Three BAMs for a retrigger. BAM. We've been shout We're going to go to bed tonight, and we're in our sleep. We'll be shouting BAM to each other. Two more, come on, three trigger. To be honest, anything above this I am happy with. I mean, I never expected a $70 bonus on this game. We've still got 13 spins left, so plenty of time to get something else. Come on, don't dry up. Bam, 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 bam. Come on. One more, one more for a retrigger. Not sure my arms can take anymore. There's some multipliers. We're just dead spinning the days. Six spins left. It's not gonna give us the $900. She's desperate for the $900 bonus. $70, four spins left. Can we get over $100? Probably not. Two spins left. All right, last spin. All right, $70 and 26. One bam, thank you, ma'am. On the raspberry lemon drops. Cheers. All right, so we jumped on 88 fortunes, even though Emily didn't want to, but I had a feeling. And after a few spins, we got a $32 line hit, and now we've hit the 10 free games. We're on two cent denomination, 88 uh, cents. That's $1.76 bet. 10 free spins, nine remaining. Let's go. Let's close the pot. Oh, what a shame they're not wild. All right, that's decent. That's a nice pay, hundred dollars. Might, might be more. All right, let's see. Let's whack it. Hundred and ten dollar line hit. Nice, all the way across. Come on. And Emily didn't want to play this game. There we go. Yeah, 
you get anything all the way across the screen, you can get really... Oh, I thought we had a re-trigger then. Well, one more big hit all the way across. Two games remaining. Close the pot. Close the pot. Alright, we've still got... All the way. Oh, I needed a while here. All right, well, that was a nice, quick $127. That takes us to $297. Fantastic. All right, we'll come back if we get anything else. All right, so we have finished in Cosmo. Uh, just did a quick count of my cash, and I have $600. So I am $200 up on today, which is good. Um, considering I was also, I think, $200 off yesterday. No, $600 off yesterday. So, um, yeah, that means I'm definitely going to be bringing back at least about $1,500, which is about 30% of the total budget, so that's good. Um, we are going to head back to Park and Gem. Probably drop another $1,500 in there. Um, it is quarter past 11. So we'll probably be out until 12, half 12, and then we're going to call it a relatively early night tonight, I think. So, uh, yeah, we'll catch you up when we get to Park MGM. Right, we made it back to Park MGM. Uh, just grabbed a 805. Where is it? There it is. Um, and we're going to head back out on the floor, put one to two hundred dollars in, see how we get on, and then we'll be calling it a night soon. So. I'll pick it up on the casino floor. All right, we're gonna do $120 on Dragon Link. We're doing uh, one cent and $1.50 bets. All right, we're looking for three, one more. Yes, bonus on the second spin. All right. Let's get something decent. There you go, six free games. Looking for two more. Ooh. Three for the retrigger. Alright. It's alright. Flowers across. Come on, give us the orbs. And six orbs. Okay, got Cox. Cox all around. 19 dollars 65 uh, what a shame there wasn't a panda on the front Oy, nothing right we need orbs on the last spin come on orbs no blocker blocker all right well second spin bonus 28 dollars can't complain Right, five spins later and we hit the hold and spin feature. Nice $15 and two, two 450s. No, three 450s and a six. All right, that's a fairly decent start to be honest. some backup spins. And we'll come back up again anything else. So uh, accidentally filmed the last bonus on um, slow-mo, so not sure if it's recorded or if I'll be able to use it. But we jumped over after the decent win to Dragon Link. What's this one called? Golden Century. Golden Century. And after probably four or five spins on a $1.50 bet, we hit the feature. Nice $15, two 750s, that's $30, 39. All right, we're at $41 so far. Nice. Mini is 10, minor is 50, major is 529. Ooh. Don't do the dirty. Minor's gone past twice. Don't do the dirty. Oh. 
Oh, I was going to say, you dirty dog. Right. Ooh, yes, $30. Big numbers attract big numbers. Here we go. Come on. Drop the mini or the minor. Or the major or the grand. All right. Last spin. One more. $15. Wow. 75 Oh, wow. Some big numbers on here. Big numbers attract big numbers. Come on. 750. All right. This is a decent bonus. Three to go. Ooh, that thirty dollars went by again. All right, All right last spin, save the day. Come on. Nope. All right. Well, cannot complain. And fifty puts us up to one sixty-five. Two sixty-five, sorry, and we started with one twenty, so we've doubled our money. Alright, we'll do a few backup spins. Yep. And we'll come back if we get something else. Alright, and probably fifteen spins later we've hit the bonus again. Smaller numbers this time, but let's see what happens. Minor and the thirty dollar ball are going around again. Nice to land a couple of these. To remind you, the mini is ten dollars, the minor is fifty, and the major is five twenty-nine. All right, let's fill them up. All right, last spin. Keep us in it. Yeah, that'll do. Four more for the grand, 11,800. All right, nice 450 hit. Three to go. What did we have last time? Uh, 13 collected. I think so. All right, 13 and the minor just slipped by. Here we go. Tense music. Two spins left to fill two orbs. Last spin. Nope. Should take us to over 300? No, no, no. Just under. Yeah. Alright, $33. That's all she wrote. Help me, please help me. I did that on purpose. I did that on purpose. She said it earlier as well. Is you catch Alright, up to 286. We'll uh, do a backup spin live. Alright, we'll come back up again anything else. Alright, we have called it a day. Um, about half 12. Another pretty early night for us tonight. We're absolutely shattered still. Um, yeah, can't be bothered to do the recap right now. So I will we do it up, in the morning. Uh, yes, we doubled up our 100. We'll, we'll cover that in the morning, Emily. All right, I'll see you tomorrow morning for the recap. All right, good morning. Um, time to do a quick recap of yesterday. Bit of a strange day, to be honest. Obviously started woke up in the morning um, to find that the systems as expected hadn't got better and actually got worse went down to the MGMs tried to figure out what the situation was what was working what wasn't quickly became apparent that um, nothing was being tracked and the lady at the MGM reward said they said that it actually got significantly worse and she couldn't none of the staff could even log into the system so there's nothing they could do so the MGM Rewards desks were pretty much closed. There was no one there because obviously they were just turning everyone away. The slot machines. So we visited three or four different hotels, um, mainly the MGM ones, um, just to see what the situation was. The machines in Park MGM were on, but they were having to do manual hand pay. So whenever you cashed out, the system would basically lock down and call an, an attendant. The attendant would have to come over and pay you out in cash. So that was a bit of a ball ache for them, I'm sure. 
Um, but the casino floor was empty. I mean, there must have been five, ten people gambling. That was it. So we went to New York, New York, and it was the same situation there. We went to um, MGM Grand, and they had actually just closed. They had basically just turned off probably 90% of the machines. Obviously, because it's a much larger casino, um, maybe they didn't have the staff to do the um, manual hand pace, so they just decided to turn all the machines off. So we scattered around a bit, did a few bits and bobs. Um, we had came back and had a, a breakfast, lunch, brunch at Primrose. We had the egg and ham sandwich, which was lovely. The um, bacon and gorgonzola, I think, um, pizza, flatbread was dry and very average. Um, yeah, didn't see the huge flush over Primrose, to be honest. Didn't think it was that good. Uh, did a bit of gambling, and then it turns out that kind of early mid-afternoon, we think they started to get the systems back online. Um, things started to track. My Vegas is still down. Hotel systems are still down. Um, tier points are still down, so we still can't check. Don't know if we've made it to Pearl or not yet. Um, can't use the My Vegas rewards, which obviously we wanted to use a couple yesterday and today, and we can't. Don't know when that's going to be back up and running. Um, but yeah, did a little bit of gambling. Didn't have much luck in the afternoon. Came back to the room, got changed, got refreshed, and then went out for the evening. So we started off in Park MGM. We had a couple of good hits in Park MGM. Emily had her wonder hit where she accidentally spun a $10 spin and got the bonus 5x multiplier, $500 ticket. So she was very happy for the rest of the night. Um, really nice meal at Best Friends. Really good vibe, really nice food. Um, good drinks as well, frozen margarita and pina colada. And then we went out in the evening, did a bit more gambling in Park MGM, went over to Bellagio, had a few nice hits in Bellagio, and then finished the night in um, Cosmo. Again, had a new a few nice hits in Cosmo, came back to Park MGM, did a little bit of gambling, and then went to bed probably around one o'clock in the morning. Um, and yeah, so we've had a decent day. I've come back with $655, which means I'm 255 up on yesterday, so that's two days in a row that I've come back with more than I started with. And Emily has come back with about $900, so she's about $500 up. Um, so we've both got our full $400 budget intact and we've come back with surplus money, which is always nice. So um, yeah, tomorrow um, we've got a busy day again. Uh, we're off the strip for breakfast and then um, we've got Back an hour buffet booked at 3 30. Um, but I'll obviously do an intro for that vlog now as it's the morning time, and um, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe, drop us a comment, and uh, we'll see you next Saturday. Mm -hmm.